everyone and welcome to my channel. I hope you are all doing well. I'm Waha and I do fragrance reviews all the time. So please make sure to subscribe to my channel if you are new. And if you are already a friend here, welcome back. Today, I'm going to share with you some fragrances that I've picked up from my collection that I think would be excellent to be worn during this transitional season into winter. And I really tried to do my best and minimize the choices to the fragrances that I really love. So of course I like many perfumes, but these fragrances that I've chosen today are the ones that I'd like to smell on a gentleman. Fragrances that I would personally repurchase for my husband because I really like to smell them all the time. So my list is not going to be 20 or 10. I've only chosen five fragrances today. And of course, all of them are in the designer realm. So you are not going to spend loads of money on a fragrance if you fancy to buy something new. Probably you own some of these, probably you know all of these. But anyway, I thought I would share my listing with you. So yeah let's start and of course I'd like to remind you that while I am talking about each fragrance today in this video if I have a review a separate dedicated video reviewing and talking about this fragrance it is going to pop here on top of the screen so that you could click on it later and watch it for more details and more information it just happened that one of my favorite fragrances to wear during the autumn for men of course is actually so affordable and it is from a house that I really appreciate. This one is Avant Garde by Lanvin and of course it is an eau de toilette. This fragrance is actually one of those warm spicy sweet fragrances but I like it so much because it has a honey tobacco note that is actually so intoxicating it is sweet but deep at the same time and although the sweetness is so detectable here in this fragrance it magically still smells so masculine i do not know how to describe it this is not sugary this is really dark honey with lots of tobacco very powerful it lasts so well on the skin projects pretty well actually and i think this is your choice if you want something a bit sweet but still earthy to be worn during the autumn you can't miss this one and while we are still discussing affordable fragrances another true love i'm loyal to this fragrance this is calvin klein reveal or the toilette for men if you like versace eros but you think it is a bit Mm, too strong or dull sometimes you will love this one i think if you love versace eros you will love this even more it has a lot of boozy sweet fruity notes but at the same time it has some suede some woodsy and salty elements that give this fragrance some depth and a further dimension so i think you can't miss this fragrance it is amazing the bottle as well looks so nice i do not have the bottle i only have the box i'm tricking you here but because the bottle was with my husband anyway amazing fragrance i would highly recommend this fragrance and i will repurchase and repurchase because of the price and because of the excellent long lasting power on the skin and yeah here i have another empty box this is the famous hugo boss bottled intense this is the eau de toilette. I haven't tried the eau de parfum. I think it is exactly the same. I'm not sure if it is going to last longer or not. If you remember the original uh, Hugo Boss bottled or number six, you might have loved this fragrance because of its vanillary, cinnamon, fruity element. It has lots of apple, lots of fruits and flowers. It is also vanilla heavy on the dry down, but still it is so attractive. I think this intense or the toilet version really replaces the original. If you want to repurchase that fragrance, I think you might want to go with this one. I love it because it is versatile. It is not so sickly sweet, you know, although it is vanilla based. It is a classic. You can't miss this fragrance. Again, this is nothing new, but this is a fragrance that I would always make sure to restock so that my husband doesn't run out. It is amazing. Let's talk about a somehow different fragrance here. 
of course these are in no particular order i love them all equally and i would be happy to smell them on a gentleman at any time especially during the autumn this fragrance is by burberry and it is called burberry london if you see the bottle with the brown fabric you would instantly get this uh, cooler weather feeling that you want to cozy up and wear this fragrance to feel home uh, this fragrance has some tobacco and leather but uh, if I want to be honest with you if I want to describe this fragrance so simply it smells so similar or it reminds me of uh, Thierry Mugler angel for women not for men but it is a bit more masculinized so it is masculine strong cozy and it is special in the sense that not many fragrances smell like this one although we know that there are many many releases of fragrances that contain this tobacco sweet element this is more a green and earthy tobacco with a background of sweetness so it is not in your face sugary sweet I think you will love this fragrance. Amazing to be worn during this fall or autumn season. And the last fragrance that I'm going to share with you. I think you won't be surprised because I love this fragrance. It is the famous Aloha Homme Sport by Chanel. This is the Eau Extreme uh, Flanker. I think this is an Eau de Parfum because I know a lot of people ask what's the difference between the Eau Extreme and the original Eau de Toilette Aloha Homme Sport. I think this is an Eau de Parfum. They didn't state that. However, I like this fragrance because as they describe it, it is a transition between cool and warm, sweet and spicy. At the same time, it has lots of pepper underlined with amber and tonka and other woodsy notes. I honestly believe that no man would say no to this fragrance and no woman as well. It is that attractive, that strong and confident and it doesn't mess around all of these fragrances that i have mentioned have a very good lasting power they are well worth your money and i think you might want to pick one or two of these fragrances to wear during this season so yeah these are my top picks five it's not a lot but they are solid i hope you enjoyed spending time with me and that you found this collection or this recommendation helpful i hope that i see you again next week with another review until then as usual please be safe bye